I just want to thank you for your interest and, and advocacy against the Common Core. I was kind of I was wondering what kind of response have you been getting from your colleagues in the Senate, as well. Have you heard much about from about this issue from your constituents? Yeah, I've heard a lot of my town meetings. That's how I got interested in it, and then I started investigating it, and I found out that it was supposed to be a voluntary thing that governors. Uh, thought up and state legislators and maybe some other people and then each state was supposed to voluntarily get it and that's the way it, it ought to work because each state ought to decide their own uh, curriculum but then it gets tied up with federal dollars and for the race to the top uh, if you're going to get any of that money you adopt common core now look at Iowa adopted common core uh, but they don't even uh, uh, they don't get any money connected with the race to the top. In fact, about 46 states have adopted Common Core with the idea, I'm going to get all this free federal money. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what happens? Only about a dozen states get any of that free federal money. Now, what do you think about you in your uh, the letter you mentioned, the, um, the funding, even the review committee that's going to look at the assessments? Do you think this is... Um Fed's getting too much too involved in education as far as even reviewing the content of assessments. No, there's nothing in the Constitution that gives uh, the federal government a constitutional right to deal in education. The only thing is that the Supreme Court's been very clear that if you appropriate money for something, you put conditions on it. Mm -hmm. But see, that's that's uh, that's how they got their uh, their or in the water. And uh, we're going to lose competition among the states, which is going to weaken the education system throughout the country, because competition is what makes things great in this country. Now, one thing we've noticed is that uh, representative government has just been totally ignored in the whole process as far as race to being executive earmark, um, as well as when it gets to the states, it's usually state boards of education that aren't elected making these types of decisions. Do you think that's healthy for deciding about education policy at the state level to totally bypass state legislatures? Uh, no. Uh, I believe that uh, there, there's a 1920 Supreme Court decision that says the state legislature is a school board for the entire state. Okay. Great. Hey, thank